Hi, my name is Richard Pennycook and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we'll be creating a Photoshop to JavaScript slideshow using Export Kit Suite. Now, there are two files that we'll need to do this. One is our Photoshop PSD and another is our actual JavaScript file. And we're going to take a look at both. If we open up our PSD, you'll see that we have a couple of layers and as we click, it'll just navigate to each. These layers are very specific in nature and this is due to the setup of our actual JavaScript file. And I'll discuss that as we go. You'll see that what we have is we have an EK slider nav view we have a nav pause nav left nav right we also have a ek slider images these are the actual layers that our javascript file is looking for in the output now if we take a look at the actual javascript file quickly and i'm not going to get too technical on this uh, because i am aware a lot of designers are, are watching the video what we have is in our javascript file we have a couple basic variables that we can edit and this will basically add properties to the javascript uh, output what we have is our animation type so you'll see that we have three animations. We have the uh, whether it's going to be auto slide, and we also have the slide time. Oh, let's just add that to that quickly. We also have the slide time as to basically how long uh, the slide will actually take to render. Now, in the actual JavaScript file, you'll see that we have an error check where it's looking for elements in our output. Now, this is reflective of the actual layers that we have denoted in our Photoshop file. So, if we go back to Photoshop again and we take a look at it, you'll see that we do have our nav view, pause, left, right, and images. And if we take a look at the JavaScript file again, you'll see that it's looking for the images, left, right, view, View and pause. Now, if we go ahead and export this, what will happen is Export Kit will use the actual JavaScript contents to render with the HTML output. That way, what you'll have is basically a rendering with the actual functionality as well as your GUI. So, if we take a look, um, one thing that we will have to do is we will have to add a custom head. So, basically, if we go back to our JavaScript file, you see that it just has a quick example. This is one of our premium scripts, by the way, so you can actually purchase this and we can actually get this going for you quickly. So what we're doing here is we're adding a script link to the actual JavaScript file itself. Now we're going to have to manually copy this file in the output when we, when we continue. So let's go ahead, let's just add a few options and export and we'll take a look at the output. Once the output is complete, before we take a look at it, what we're going to need to do is actually copy our JavaScript file to our output folder. Now, in V127, this is a much simpler process, but for V126, you will have to do this manually. Once you have your JavaScript file in your actual output folder, you can just take a look at the actual HTML file. Now, our JavaScript, uh, what it's doing is it will allow us to basically navigate through the images that we have within our actual Photoshop folder. So you'll see that we just went through three images, and this is reflective of the actual image layers that, that we created. So this could have been virtually anything that you wanted in Photoshop itself. Now, if we go back and we take a look at the output, we also have a couple of JavaScript, uh, I guess, features or functionality that we've included as well. One is when you roll over, it'll actually stop the navigation of the slideshow, so it'll show you a, a quick preview image. And we also have a couple navigation elements. Now, this is reflective of your Photoshop layers again, where we have nav pause, nav left, and nav right. So these could have been any elements or images that you wanted also in your output. Now, if we go back and we take a look, we can also pause the navigation as well. So this is just a quick slideshow created directly from Photoshop using Export Kit Suite.